I don't think anywhere in our religion has something been mentioned as killing the innocent to prove a point. In fact, no religion teaches that. So again I wonder what these extremists were playing at. The fact that he perceives that Taliban and Osama aren't responsible for 9-11 doesn't go down well with the audience. More judgments about Islam are made by the general public thanks to this hero. It is very easy for us to sit in one safe country, state and enjoy the luxuries of living it up. Go try living in Congo, Mozambique, Iraq, Zaire, etc. The extremists from other religions will massacre you. Extremism in any form and any religion is nasty. It's an evil to society. It should be suppressed by doing anything in excess, even a fruit of Jannah can turn into poison. By writing this mail, I didn't mean to hurt anyone's sentiments. I'm sorry if I have. Instead, I want to just reach out to all of you in my own little way to tell you that although I'm not a five times namazi, I do have certain values in me that I believe are in line with what Islam preaches. I'm sure all of you are far better pious and balanced Muslims than me. I firmly believe that in my own little way, I will try to make people change their wrong perception about Islam by projecting Islam to be tolerant, humanity respecting religion. Cheers, I and P.S. Barkha or nobody else was being biased. If anyone is biased, it is Dr. Zakir. Come on, it's a freaking debate where there will be differences of opinion, not one-tracked conversation. Brothers and sisters, you would have noticed we have had some positive comments come critical. This was one of the comments which was critical of the earlier statements. I am presenting the various viewpoints in a balanced format before all of you. So you appreciate the kind of responses we are getting to the program. Some positive, some neutral, some critical. Then we have a response to this email on the same site by Sarfaraz Ali Khan. Walaikum assalam to all who wish me an assalamu alaikum for others to join later. This is in response to true Indian Muslim had said about the show. As my brother has said, he doesn't have to go to the CNN or BBC to check whether Osama planned the 9-11 attacks. If he did not see it on the media channels, then where did he see it and on which channel he saw that Osama took ownership? Or which newspaper did he read in? See, I am not supporting Osama. If he has done it, we condemn. But if he has not, then brother, just on the basis of suspicion, 50,000 Afghanis were killed. I would like to ask you, have you seen loose change? If you have not, then see it. This documentary has not been done by any Muslim. It has been done by an American. And you will see that the Taliban speaking in English, though you might not understand Arabic, they asked for a proof from the Americans that Osama was behind it. And they said, if they provide it, then they themselves will hand over Osama. This telecast was just shown once on the news channels. And after that, it was never shown. Brother, you said go to Iraq, Zaire, Congo. Brother, I would like to just wear the Muslim attire and go to Assam. The Ulfa is going to butcher you like anything. They are specially trained to kill Muslims. 749 confirmed attacks. Guess what Zakir Naik did in his full attire, gave a public speech. Alhamdulillah, this is the power of Islam, to walk on the way of Allah. If you are not doing your duty, don't ask others to stop doing dawah. I appreciate that you are trying to teach others in your own sweet way. But what about the rest who would teach them this man runs a channel which is viewed by over 70 million people. It has outbeaten God TV. Brother, our job is to deliver the message, not to convert them, so that on the judgment day you can give the shahada that you delivered his message to them. But at least try. And who knows, you might open the doors of heaven for someone. And this man has opened the doors to heaven for hundreds of people.
May Allah give peace and show all of us the right path. That was a long and interesting discussion and comments on this article initiated by Imran Ali. We have brother Manoj Mishra, a non-Muslim, who has given this interesting comment. It's strange that a person of Dr. Zakir Naik's caliber and fame, an expert in the field of comparative religion, is not given time to speak, but instead people like Soha Ali, Shah Rukh Khan and lesser known Kabir Khan is given all the time to speak on issues which they hardly know. Let the specialist of that field speak out rather than novices of the field. Yes, if Soha or SRK or Kabir Khan or Salman Khan speak about films, it's okay. Though I am a Hindu and have seen Dr. Zakir Naik speaking on Peace TV and debating live around the globe on the various topics of comparative religion and related issues, I can tell you he is uncomparable. Barkha, by not giving time to Dr. Naik, has done great injustice to the stature of the person. Dr. Naik is Dr. Naik. Dr. Naik should never come to any TV debate where he is not allowed to speak or express his views. Thanks. Thanks. Humayun Kabir says, I have watched the videos. Dr. Zakir Naik should not have gone there. Nobody was stopped before they finished talking, but Dr. Naik was stopped every time when he was about to finish his explanation. If you ask an engineer to help a cancer patient, what will happen? I feel sorry for Dr. Zakir Naik again. Allah helps us all. Sajjad Ahangar says, It was ridiculous to listen to some people who talked about things of which they had no idea whatsoever. And each one tried to formulate a definition for Islam just to fit his or her practicing of the religion if they do any. It was equally disgusting to see Barkhan never letting Dr. Zakir speak on anything. He was the most knowledgeable person on the podium but sadly made a mute spectator. We have a non-Muslim sister, name is Kirti Mishra. She says, we the people is not representative and totally undemocratic. We means Barkha and a leftist friend who show and talk their biased opinions and a majority of the people's opinion is sidelined. What a mockery of neutral journalism. We have another non-Muslim brother, Vijay Lugani, who says, more we discuss about minority communities, more we create problems for them. Everybody in our country should feel equal to each other. Nobody should be suspicious to each other. If somebody does or act against the law, the law should take its course. SRK was best in discussion. Before I go on with the further comments, I would like to throw open the floor for comments from our learned brothers, our audience collected here today. We thank you for your patient listening to these uh, long comments and initiation of understanding of this topic, TV talk shows and analysis. May I request the brothers who would like to put forward their comments first and later on any question. I will allow questions later on to Dr. Zakir. I would like your comments regarding the TV talk shows. Yes, brother. Well, my observation and comment on the program of NDTV 24 by 7 was that uh, Dr. Zakir Naik was the only person out of the eight speakers who did not interject any speaker and all the others in the panel continuously kept on interjecting. The most out of them was uh, Alec and Kabir. In fact, Kabir interjected Dr. Zakir Naik at least three times. It was as though he was asked to cut short whenever he was about to speak. And if you notice that uh, Dr. Zakir Naik kept raising his hands for about more than 75% of the time of the entire program, and what was shown on the TV was just that uh, raising once or maybe twice. So the program was definitely edited over there. What I would say is that Dr. Zakir Naik uh, was the only person out there who was following the rules of the program, like a true Muslim, in spite of him being sidelined for the entire program. Thank you, Jazak. 